part two, everybody. Part two of JoJo is now here. What is up, everybody? Panda here. Oh, this I just finished watching JoJo Bizarre Adventure episode ten, and I I'm really excited for part two. Like it has some really incredible things to it. I mean, it started off in great. We got to see. Um, I believe it's been fifty years since um, Joseph Joestar's death. Like and um. The first person we see is Speedwagon, although he's, like, very old. Um, we get to meet, as well, Straits, as well. Like, um, he, apparently, like, Speedwagon became, like, an oil baron, and um, Straits inherited from him. Uh, and I, start, I, I keep saying about his um, master. And he does look pretty young for what he is, because I believe, like, uh, I like to say that um, Speedwagon's, like, in his knees. Um, but I believe it's in the 90s now. We're in, like, the early 90s, 1930s, I believe, uh, and <laughs> it's just crazy, because I absolutely love the new, um, Joe star, his name is Coca-Cola, and this um, takes from there. this role but <laughs> from what it is I think he actually very suits this role I mean um just how uh, Joseph's acting I think he's gonna be good um so yeah uh, you can talk his voice actor you, you're doing a very good job on Joseph um and it's, uh we got told about like Joseph's past he doesn't know any his um his mother died of the sickness, his father went out to war and he died, and the only people he's really got for family. So mind you, this is the grandson as well of um Jonathan Joestar. Um he and he also as well, he can use the ripple as well. Like against these cops, he did um like he literally like um they like, got the coke bottle and like used his ripple and the <laughs> bottle cap came out, rushed his the other one, he just completely destroyed his face and all that. It was like some cops and they deserved it. And turns out, like, Elena, Elena is still alive and um, he's still, like, like basically taking care of, um, like, Joseph since, like, he, she's the only family um, Joseph has left. But it was, like, crazy because um, the Speedwagon um, took straights to, like, Mexico and they found all these masks and this this statue or something, and apparently it was alive. And out of nowhere, Straits kills his apprentice and Speedwagon. And I was like, Speedwagon, no! Why? <laughs> Why? No, like, I, Speedwagon is one of my favorite characters. Like, of, well, actually, no, he is my favorite character of part one. And... I mean, it's so, like, I was so sad when he killed him. And then now uh, Straits has become a vampire. Like, this is going to be interesting, um, since at the end of the episode he appears, like, a lot in his younger form. Um, he's, like, if he can use the ripple and vampire powers at the same time, that's going to be interesting. Uh, but, like I said, jo it was made, like I said, it was Joseph. Joseph seems to be very smart as well. He seems like he can detect stuff a lot easier. He said he knows this one guy because um Smokey, like in in those times they didn't really have any like there wasn't any respect for the um like black uh, black people in that time and he's like, Why are you letting pigs and like like scumbags in here? And like Joseph stood up for him. And I really like that. He he seems like very although he's not like a gentleman, like um like his uh, grandfather is, so he's a <laughs> shame that British people are not always, like, it just shows that not all British people are gentlemen. Um, I did like that, like, how, like, he seems to be more focused with his mind at the minute, he seems to be more mind curious than um, his uh, grandfather, I mean, it'll be interesting to find out about his, um, fa his father, though, but I doubt it. But, because they like his father couldn't use the ripple apparently, so apparently, and the episode ended with um, them getting told about Speedwagon's death and like Smokey and um, 
Smokey and Joseph are in this uh, restaurant and they find like Straits is outside and he's talking to him. And out of nowhere, it's like when um, he was talking about, like Joseph just pulled out a Tommy gun. <laughs> it's something I never imagined. He pulled out a Tommy gun and just shot him. And he's like, I know that didn't get you there. Like, like Straits, come out and find me. I must avenge you for like um, Speedwagon's death. And I was like, oh, Speedwagon, why? <laughs> why did you have to die? Like... I am so excited for part two. Um, we didn't get an opening this week. We got a different version of like Roundabout. Like they changed the changed up. It's very strange. At first, like we only saw um, Jonathan on there. Then we saw Joseph, and then there's just loads of blank areas. This is where I'm thinking where the rest of the Joe Star are gonna lie. Maybe they might just continue with this. Um, and they're, they're probably just gonna continue with this ending, but different versions and that because. I don't know, because like at the end we saw Speedwagon in his younger days, and then um, in part two version when he's old. Um, but I, I'm excited. Uh, let me know what you thought about this. I'm excited. Like I said, I will promise I'll try and do the um, arc, uh, like part one of um, JoJo soon. But thank you very much for watching. Strap Night Bandit, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people. Joe Star, baby.